I think he was a wonderful person. I think he had great uh, insight, foresight, and I think it was a golden time of Paris opera. It was a glorious time to be there. We had Schulte, um, the other, his um, Lieberman's assistant, uh, Joan Inkpen, was a wonderful person, wonderful organiser, and we had some amazing um, performances at, at Paris opera. It, it was a really, really superb time. I was under pressure all the time, under terrible pressure. And so was everybody else. I didn't have uh, enough time on the artists. Their contracts were made in very foolish ways. And in fact, it was so grossly underestimated as a project that it's a miracle that it got made at all. Lorsqu'il se rend sur le tournage, Toscan est confronté à un Joseph Lozet de plus en plus intransigeant. Tout en se comportant constamment comme le réalisateur d'une commande, « Your movie, votre film », disait-il. Très vite, il s'empara du sujet à sa façon, imposant ses seules volontés, en particulier celle d'enregistrer les récitatives en prise directe pendant le tournage même. And I wanted to, uh, it was one chance I had to work really directly with the actors, uh, so it, it helped the whole performance all the way through. So I wanted more time for playing, more time for rehearsal. Caro Elvira, calmate questa collera. Sentite, e lasciatemi parlare. Cosa vuoi dire? Sto forse un dinero in casa mia. <laughs> Normally he is directing and he's in charge, but we are in charge because we're doing a character and we're in charge of this, of our voices, or what we're doing with the voice. It's not as if it's just acting. Acting you can take all the time in the world, whereas with singing it's, you know, limited all the time. You have step by step with singing and, and it's, there's a time limit to everything that we do. Would he give you advice on the play? Oh, sometimes, yeah. I, I, I mean, if I can remember it, I would do something, and if he didn't like it, we'd change it, you know. But, but it was as simple as that. I mean, I knew the character I wanted to portray, um, and, and he liked what I did. I mean, there was never a question that I was doing it wrong. I talked to a curator Technoa when I was in London over Christmas, and she was on holiday from uh, Scala. I asked her what she was playing, and who directed it? And she said, Australia. And I said, Oh, you're so lucky. Uh, is it uh, because he's such a remarkable man and so very good? She said, I never met him. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? She said, well, you know, he did it for the Paris Opera. So one of his pupils comes and says, you stand there, you move there. <laughs> and when he never came. In the opera, you have 40 meters squared in which you move. Là, on avait kilomètres. <rire> C'était assez différent. On, on saignait, on regardait un parcours. Et depuis, on, il plaçait la caméra. Et bien sûr, la première fois, on sortait du parcours parce qu'on avait vraiment la sensibilité de comprendre que la caméra a un encadrement assez précis. C'est un grand problème parce qu'ils ne peuvent pas faire la même chose deux fois. Ils peuvent faire la même chose deux fois. Ils peuvent faire la même chose deux fois. Ils ne peuvent pas faire la même chose deux fois. They won't have time to worry about their operatic gestures. If you want opera to be um, accessible to a large number of people, obviously another way has to be found. This film is an immense challenge to try and find a new form. Kiri Tekanawa dans le rôle de Donna Elvira. Il faudrait que j'essaie une seconde voir si je peux me servir de ces bottes-là avant que vous ayez fini. Ça vous ennuie Parce que j'ai apporté d'autres chaussures. Euh... <rire> 
The recitativo is a kind of exposition. Hey, fermi! I'd like to make it visually intelligible, slowing down the rhythm. Make them more comprehensible, less buffoni, more human. Attention! Silencio! On dégage le chant, on essaye! Moteur! C'est le cavédo! On peut la donner vie! Giovanni! Sei qui, mostro per ogni rengonni! Che titoli cruscanti, manco male che lo conosce bene! Via, cara Don Elvira, calmate questa collera! Sentite, e lasciatemi parlare! Cosa vuoi dire? Sto forse un dinero in casa mia! Ok, ok, rialzo! Tutti Cosa vuoi dire? Sto forse un dinero in casa mia entri fuori dei momenti a forza dati di giuramenti di lusinghe orribili a tenore e formeo mi non muore o cruere mi dichiore il tuo sposo e poi mancando delle perle del cielo sto stretto a con enorme rito dopo disinto burro ma quando mi fuggi e lasci prendere il morso Siate più ragionevoli, mi farò cimento costei. 